Okay, guys, so we're back with the Ford. So I'm the one, guys. So right now I'm gonna get rid of the. I mean, not get rid of, but I'm gonna remove the, the grill. Okay guys, so as you can see, I removed the grill from the truck and I have it right here. I prepped it and painted it. Um, I didn't, you know, record it because basically the same as most of the plastics I've done before. Um, but yeah, now it's dry drying and it's looking good. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry and, and hit it with the clear for tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of tired today now to keep on going, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow we get it, get it ready. We, um, hopefully tomorrow I can clear it, spray some clear and, and let it dry and install it back in the truck. I, I don't think I'm going to install it. I don't think I'm gonna install it because um, I still need to work on the fender like I told you guys and um, then that's gonna be my way but yeah okay guys so this is where we're at with the on the Ford F-150 um, I blacked out the rims this is one of the headlights installed I still need to um, clear the white um, part of the of the grill I gotta remove the black plastic, that one, and the bumper. I need to sand it down and paint it white too. Uh, everything's not fastened down. Everything's just, just right now, just to, you know, I just wanted to see how everything looked. Um, it still looks kind of weird because of the black, the black bumpers. So once that those are gone, um, hopefully it looks a lot better. But I think it's looking a little bit better than what it used to look like. But. You know, it should get better. I hope so. I'm kind of not liking the way it looks with the with the black, um, with the black rims. You know, it kind of looked like those black steelies that you know had help that had um hubcaps at you know some point. So I'm kind of not not liking them, but you know, nothing else I could do. Well, yeah, guys this is where we are at okay guys so now I'm just gonna remove the black plastic like I told you guys um, in my last video and I'm gonna paint the yes the metal part of the, the bumper okay guys so we're gonna start removing the plastics Okay guys, so plastic part of the bumper is plastic part of the bumper is removed. So I'm just gonna sand it down. Okay guys, check it out. I honestly like the way it looks, man. 
I definitely like the way it looks. Looks way better than that black bumper. Um, the paint match is pretty good. I spray painted it like I did the the BW Passat, the spray cans. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll leave a link in the description of how I painted the the fender from the Passat and that how you could get the the code from your car and look at it I mean look for it on at your local um, auto parts you know get the get the spray cans that actually um, match the rest of your car like this one duplicolor duplicolor perfect match and let me get this thing to focus maybe the lens is Maybe the lens was dirty, but I guess not. Anyway, okay, there we go. See, it says Oxford White 9L. Those are the 9L, those are the codes, the paint codes. And my code was the YZ. So, this is the paint that matches it. Duplicates original Ford colors. This is what I used, and it matches really good. Um, I'm going to do the same thing to the front bumper. And yeah. Okay guys, so since I'm done with the back bumper, I'm going to start removing the that topper, the top um, plastic and prepping it and painting it white too. That side still not done. I didn't put the headlight. Everything's just, like I said, everything's just holding there for, it's not fastened down. So, so it could be easier for me to remove it, but so far so good guys, let me know what you guys think, so far. Okay guys, so I got the plastic removed. Here it is. I'm gonna see if I could find a way to lift this bumper back to its original place. Um, I'm gonna try to use the jack to see if I could force it back up. And Hopefully that works. Um, hopefully that works. Okay guys, so I'm gonna concentrate a little bit on that fender. I kind of pulled it out a little bit, as you can see. So I'm gonna sand it now and um, put a little bundle. And see if that makes it better. Okay, so I got that covered. I got it sanded. I'm gonna apply the first um, applied the bundle okay guys so I painted the bumper I left those unpainted because that's gonna be covered um, pretty windy so I don't know if you guys can see on the dent on the bumper Ain't there no more. I used the hammer to push it out and just add some bondo. This dent right here is drying out also. Did some bondo and painted it. I'm gonna sand the whole fender like I did with the facade and re-clear it. But for now waiting for that to dry and apply some clear okay so the bumper is um, cleared I don't know if you can tell but you know he's waiting on the clear to to completely dry fender also um, now the next step is to get to sand this down I started sanding it down now that's the plastic um, that goes on top of the bumper I got the lower balance right here but 
This one will not get painted. This one's gonna stay black. I just gotta fix this. But I guess my dad said that it broke when you know trying to get it off the trailer. It got caught on the on the front of the trailer and and broke it. But I could definitely fix this. And like I said, I'm gonna leave this one black. So I'm gonna continue sanding. I'm gonna continue sanding this one. So I'm gonna continue sanding this piece of plastic down and add some primer. So yeah guys, I'm gonna continue sanding this thing down.